basically, ladies and gentlemen, when we are adding, the way that I like to do it is when we're adding, um, adding or subtracting, pretty much combining them. The main important thing what we don't want to do is align our variables that have like terms. And they're like terms if they have the same variable factors. So basically what I'm going to do is what we call the vertical method. And I'm basically going to align these vertically. So I'm going to take my first problem, which would be 3x squared minus 4x plus 8. Now when doing this, you're going to want to make sure that you have it in descending order, right? You guys remember that descending order with the largest exponent first and then going down in descending order. Then I basically am going to take these terms and align them with their, com with their common factors. So 7x has a common factor with negative 4x, and then 10 has a common factor with my 8. So do you guys see how I align them? And then you can just add vertically. Now obviously I have nothing to add to my 3x squared. You could think of this as a 0x squared if you guys wanted to. Um, when I was first teaching that, that's what I showed you guys you can do. You can always input 0x squared, because what's 0 times x squared? 0. So you can add them vertically, and your final answer is 3x squared um, plus 3x minus 2. And that would be your final answer. And I should have gone over.